You also have this PR vertical where you tell us how that works. So we, we just launched, we're just getting ready to launch. I think it's a little bit abhorrent. <laughs> <laughs> so we get emails all the time from reporters saying, can you help us find a company that does, we're writing a story on X. Mm -hmm. Can you help us find a company or, you know, to talk to, you know, and they're, they're kind of like, you know, and they, you know, all, all VCs get these requests. Right. And, you know, we have companies on the other hand that are saying like, hey, we'd love to get coverage for why. So um, there's this site out there, you know, ProfNet and, and Harrow where, you know, where it's public, but there's nothing that's focused just for startups. Mm -hmm. So we said, wouldn't it be neat if there was a marketplace? And it's an experiment where, look, we're a startup. There have right. been plenty of things that we started that have succeeded that we didn't think would, mm -hmm. and plenty of things that won't, and we'll see what happens with this. But wouldn't it be neat if you could have a marketplace for startups, not just in our portfolio, but you know, overall, where journalists can reach out to just find sort of venture-funded tech startups, instead of emailing us, instead of emailing all the VCs, and then the, you know, the companies could respond on hack PR. Mm -hmm. There's my plug. Um, the, comp <laughs> the companies can respond, and the journalist gets to decide whether they contact their company or not. So the, you know, the, the, the journalist isn't getting spammed, and it's just a way to sort of may maybe make connections. And, and we so far have had a couple thousand companies sign up and 600 press sign up, and we're just sort of gearing to take it out of beta now. But it might, it might work, it might not. Mm -hmm. But you know, um, we thought we saw a market need, and we'll see. Mm -hmm. I just think it encourages lazy journalism, which I think is already an epidemic in the tech world. Um, well, I think maybe, you know, something. I mean, it's not your problem. It's, it's still good for your portfolio companies. <laughs> but because if they're good at using it, then they get more coverage. But if you sit down and think, okay, how was someone doing it before? They might have asked the VC they knew before. Mm -hmm. You know, a VC they had a relationship. Could you identify a company? And of course, that VC is going to plug one, you know, one company in their portfolio, and that was their research. Right. Now, if it's, again, because this is not just a first round thing, we've opened this up for everything. Yeah. Now, if at least they could ask 2,000 companies, that's a lot, that's, I think that's a less lazy than just asking one, one portfolio of 200. So it's an order of magnitude less lazy. <laughs> We have several orders more to go before this industry is saved, unfortunately. 